I want to shout out to uh, My House Ministries. They provided part of this graphic here just to show where the sun travels in six gates at its rising, six gates at its setting, as we see in Enoch. And on the left side of this image here, for six months, he photographed the sunset from the same spot in Athens. You get these tracks that it looks like the sun goes on. It's like it's got a lane, right? Yeah. Enoch 71, three through four says, I beheld the gates whence the sun goes forth and the gates where the sun sets, in which gates also the moon rises and sets. And I beheld the conductors of the stars among those who precede them. Six gates were at the rising and six gates at the setting of the sun. Yeah, so a lot of people may have seen these, especially on the older globes. You would see these figure eight looking infinity sign, but it's lopsided, right? It's mm -hmm. got a small, shorter end and a, and a wider end. And this is called an analemma, right? Analemma, the sun, when photographed at the same time every day from the same point for an entire year will produce this same image. And it's a, it's a lopsided figure eight infinity symbol called an analemma. According to NASA, its shape is based on the tilt of the planet and the width of its elliptical orbit is what they call, you know, what they say causes this. But the analemma makes zero sense on a globe with equal hemispheres. It makes perfect sense on a circular plane where the outer southern circumference is bigger around than the inner circle north of the equator. That's right. So how is this lack of symmetry explained on a sphere with a constant axial tilt? So here's one that's even dated, right? And Wikipedia says, in astronomy, an analemma is a diagram showing the position of the sun in the sky as seen from a fixed location on Earth at the same mean solar time. As that position varies over the course of the year, the diagram will resemble a, a figure eight. So here on the shorter loop side, you got June 21st. On the longer end, longer side, you got December 25th at the tip of that there. So that just kind of goes to show the solstice, right? This is when the, the sun is doing a tightest circle around June 21st, around the north. It's doing the widest circle around December 24th, 25th. And that's what causes this analemma. Here's somebody that has compiled and stacked those images after taking the photo from a fixed location at the same time. And I would have thought that the equinox, right, the when the sun's on the equator, I would have thought that it would be the point exactly where they cross, but it's not. It's a little bit further out here. So that's mm. interesting. Interesting. But I'd like to show you guys a little time lapse and they can take these pictures to where they can show the analemma as it moves across the sky and just uh, give you a good visual. So do you have that loaded up, brother? It's called an analemma. It's got a name, an analemma. But I, I don't want to talk about analemmas right now. Oh.
But I, I don't want to talk about Anna Lemons right now. I don't now. want to talk about Anna Lemons right now. I don't want to talk about Anna Lemons right now. He didn't want to talk about him right now. <laughs> Man, it's amazing dedication by that photographer. And um, just reminds me of uh, First Enoch chapter two, I think, where it talks about the, the son is um, faithful, is part of creation that follows the commandment of God. You know? Yeah. And so I think about like the shape of the analemma that it makes. It almost looks like a bow. I'm not equating it to the bow of the rainbow. I'm thinking more about a ZZ that should be tied onto you. That is your reminder to follow the commandments of God. And here we have the sun making a tying fashion in the sky. I think that's fascinating. That is cool. Yeah, because the sun and the moon follow an ordinance, right? They keep covenant with each other and they have a law that they follow. And that is an interesting correlation. I wasn't making that correlation. I was also pondering the the symbol of it and how I wonder if if people created the infinity symbol based on the analemma or if, did God already know that we were going to use that symbol for infinity? And so he put that as a sign of like because the sun counts time and he wants it to be known that there is eternity waiting. That's right. Yeah. I like the it's great the correlation it's a great there. foreshadow there. Uh, they, you know what I know that they didn't base it off of is the wild corkscrewing pattern of planets around the sun <laughs> shooting at millions of miles throughout the, the galaxies. And so, yes, dude, because if the sun was really shooting through the galaxy at 500,000 miles per hour and then the earth were shooting around it, all these speeds and directions and different movements were happening, I would imagine the analemma would look a lot different as well as the star trails, right? The star trails yeah. would definitely show some sort of progression through space, but they don't. Yeah. Just their fixed circuits, just yeah. as we observe and just as I the mean, word says. Everything that's observable, it is exactly what the Bible says. The earth is stationary, so you're on the stationary part. This, the lights in the sky move overhead, and that's why we see them moving. That's right. It's exciting. I love getting into it because it's just uh, it venerates the word of God that we already know to be true.